Jesus takes the wheel. Today is a great day. Nay, today is a fabulous day. Do you know why? So in today's video, we are comparing what are a set of $65 bearings. I think I spent 65 bucks on these versus what would be probably like about a 10 or $15 bearing. I don't know if these are actually gonna make any difference. They might be maybe a little bit faster, but they're not gonna be any stronger. I'm thinking that they're gonna have the exact same strength um, as a normal set of bearings, but for me to actually test both of these properly, I'm gonna put the expensive bearings in a set of wheels that are worn out to almost the same amount as mine are on my actual scooter. No, the wheels don't match. See, look, that one and this one, they don't match. I know, okay? I'm a freaking scrub. Oh, I love this car so much. Putting bearings in any set of scooter wheels is hard to do on its own, especially if they're metal core. So we're here at Alan's bike shop. They're saving the day. Hey dude, I have um, some bearings. Can I switch them? Yeah. Yes. yes. So the bearings that we're using for these wheels are a pair of, or a set of Red Bones ceramics. Now I actually have ridden these before. Um, I didn't remember if I really felt a huge difference or not, but we're putting them in the NB120 wheels, which if you guys want some NB wheels, you can get yours at any one of your local NB dealers, which includes Alan's bike shop, right? <laughs> and the bearings that we'll be using in my wheels that I'm gonna be riding on my scooter to start are just normal standard and the ABEC 9 bearings. Those are the bearings that I've been riding for a really long time. They work absolutely great. Um, I don't break them super, super often, but let's put these ones in these wheels without breaking them. Because if I break these, it's gonna be an expensive mistake. And I've been a, made a lot of expensive mistakes lately. One of which being blowing up the GTR motor. So a lot of people actually ask me how I get my bearings out and I don't have like any specific tool when I do this because getting bearings out is kind of tough to do unless you have like a, a specific bearing press. Usually when I'm changing my bearings regardless, it's because these ones are either worn or broken or whatever. So I don't really care if they break. So I just get an Allen wrench like this and I'll kind of put them in there and push that little spacer that's on the inside just to the side to the point where I can kind of, if, if you can kind of hear that, it's touching like the back side of that bottom bearing and then I literally just grab a hammer and I just hit them out And it's out and I'll just turn it around either do the same thing to the other side or if you have like a vice or something you can use that So let's open these things up and actually look uh, to see what they're looking like. If I remember correctly, these are uh, white as opposed to being red, like the normal reds are. A lot of us have ridden normal reds. They're actually like a really good bearing. I think they're like 15 bucks or something for a pack of eight. So it's pretty chill. It's actually not a bad price. So we're gonna open this up. Yep, just like I remember, white bearings. So this is a seven ball bearing. So it's not gonna be like a stronger bearing, like I said. Um, it does say that it's a superior grade steel that they're making this with. I don't know how much of that I always believe, but they do spin like for a long time like this. I am gonna use the same spacer as we had at the wheel before. So uh, let's get this in. I gotta be super, super careful because I do not want to like damage these whatsoever. Okay, first two bearings are in. I do have to say that they do spin incredibly well like this, but spinning like this does not necessarily mean that they're faster. So uh, I'm gonna put the other ones in and then switch my bearings to a fresh set.
Okay, so here is my scoot. I have the uh, 120 Lambos on here. There are the oil slick ones. Love these wheels. By far my favorite wheels. Um, but these are really sick too. But these are the wheels that are going to have the, uh, the standard bearings, which are in my pocket. These are just the NV ABAC 9s. These will be going in these wheels. I don't know how much they're going to spin, like if they're going to spin as much as the uh, ceramics do, because obviously the ceramics are like really, really expensive. But I know that these are super fast and I love riding these bearings. But let's throw these in here really quick and uh, head over to the skate park. One hit, shoot, watch out. Oh God, one down, one to go. Okay, so little recap on what we did. We have both of my Lambo wheels, which like I said earlier, um, the wheels that we put the expensive bearings in, they're pretty close in, uh, in wear. Like obviously they're not both brand new, these ones might be a little tiny bit newer than these ones, but maybe only by like a couple days ride. You're not really gonna be able to see a difference at all there. These, like I said earlier, these do spin for a long time when you just, uh, I only have one hand right now. Like they'll, they'll spin for a while if I were to spin them fast. Um, but to be honest, like these don't spin for that much less of time. I mean, they do by a little bit, obviously, because they're not $70 for a set of bearings. The Vulcors are a little bit heavier, so um, a, a very slightly heavier wheel is gonna mean that there's gonna be more pressure on these bearings, which these are a higher grade steel, so that's gonna uh, be plenty for that, that test, that strength test, I guess. A little bit lighter on the Lambos, but both of which are the exact same urethane, same size, same width, same everything, same speed, all that stuff. So uh, let's cruise over to the skate park right now. But before we do go, we gotta get a thumbnail and we also have to say thank you to the guys, but they're both busy right now. So give us a second. Let's go. Thanks for letting me come in and make a slight mess that I did clean up. Yeah, for you, the world, bud. <laughs> for me, the world. So let's go over to the skate park, get some clips and test both of these sets of bearings out. All right, so we're over here at Cal Oak Skate Park. We have the NV ABAC 9 bearings in the wheels right now. So let's drop in, get one quick line. And uh, I mean, I already know what these feel like, but let's get some clips anyway. All right, well, since this is our first line, we're gonna follow Scott. So Scott better step it up. We're gonna do a quick bar over the box. 270 whip and <laughs> down triple and the quick feeble. Fresh bearings, there's nothing like it, you guys. Like, I don't know what it is about them that just makes it so, so uh, satisfying, I guess is the right word, but it's amazing. You guys think I can jump over Noah? I think I got it. Well, I don't know, man. Are Bring them guys? legs in. Yeah, you sh I think I got it. No. You don't think I got it? Thanks for the support, appreciate it. Real, you're a real piece of work, you know that? And putting your head down would not be a bad idea, just saying. Well, I don't know if I can make it, dude. Why are you saying this? Because I'm telling you the truth, so that if I hit you, you're not surprised. I'm scaring myself. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we barely made it, dude. <laughs> I know we barely made it because they all went, oh, quick little in the air. And we'll get the three over the box. Yo, teamwork, you see that? Me and you. What the heck was that? Let's try it again. There we go, baby, let's go, huh? Yo, Steve, you can fit now. Hey, look, Joe Mama here. Joe Mama so fast, she was a highway to slip and slide. All right, so dropping in, let's get a quick, uh, let's get a quick double it bar, or not. We'll get on the way back. Jesus, take the wheel. Oh yeah, okay, intro acquired, well done. Well, double up bars aren't on our side this time. Let's try that double up bar again. We'll come back and do uh, 270 bar indie maybe? That might be interesting. Are you ready, Andy? I'm ready! I don't know about this bar indie. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, so far, I mean, like I said earlier, I'm used to these bearings, so I know exactly what they feel like when I ride. They're really smooth, they're super fast. Um, and obviously the fact that the wheels are envy as well means that they kind of like go hand in hand. Oh, I hit a bar. Whose bar did I hit? I hit your knee? Yo, we gotta make that a clip now. Put your knee out further. I feel like this is a bad idea, but here we go. I got it. I guess I should get like a, like a small air, like a decently kind of high air. It'd probably be small, but hey, I like that sticker on your helmet. My man, give me some. Uh-huh, my dude. What's your name? Killian. Killian, have you been here before? 
Uh, once. Once? Well, welcome back. I'll take a five footer right now. We'll uh, normally hit the, the hip low, but we'll hit it high today. Just a little one foot table. And we'll hit the little, oh, I, I, that was small too. We gotta get that one again, hold up. Let's try to get this little tap a little louder this time. Get the uh, one foot table again. That was a little louder. I, got, I gotta get like really loud though. There we go, that was better. How many tries will it take for the three butter? Three butter? No. One try. One try? First go. What do you, what do you think, Aunt Binky? Three. Three? All right, comment your guess below. Give me like, <clears throat> like the benefit of the doubt. Like one, one through four. Give me one through four here. Don't say 11, because I don't think it's going to take me 11. I'm taking my gloves off for this one. New gloves will be online at www.raymore.com very, very soon. I already ordered them. We're just waiting for them to get finished up and sent over. I can't get this one off. There we go. For those of you guys that ride gloves, just put them in your back pocket when you're not using them. It's perfect. Not first. I'm, I'm feeling second though, but I'm hoping for second. Cause I don't have to do it again. You missed me. Boozer, knocked over. See, you see it? There's a dab. Do you see it? With the hand and the, the gesture. You saw the gesture? Just checking. Hey, you were both wrong. <laughs> All right, Pinky, where's my one foot air? Come on, highest air for the vlog. Ladies and gentlemen, Anton Pinky here at Cal Oaks Skate Park is gonna do his highest air on the eight foot quarter. The sun's not bad right now, so you're good. How high do you think it's gonna go? Uh, see right here? You're not even giving him like- No, I'm kidding. Probably dang, like, he's not even giving you no coping. Pinky's gonna go right here. That's like a foot. Go the highest. I'll give you a boost. Oh, Whoa! Oh that was sketch. Don't do that and I, you might survive. Hey, Stop, dude. Like, <laughs> saw me what? I was just gonna film you. Why does everybody get so afraid of me when I like creep up? Multiple reasons. <laughs> Many reasons, as, as a matter of fact. All right, you're good. I swear I won't do anything. Ah. Uh, oh, it's like right in the middle. You're like at five inches. Watch out. I want to get another air really quick with them. Comment down below what you think of my new helmet. It's not pink anymore. The pink suited you a little better. Because you a girl. Oh, <laughs> Ask me if I'm mad. Knocked over! On a scale of one to mad, you look flamingo. Flamingo! Yeah! Ooh, my. Ah, I didn't bar. How about using it down devil? Can we do that right now? We sure can. Dude, I couldn't. I you couldn't, couldn't reach it? Was it like six ish, you think? Like here? Yeah. A little higher? Yeah. Somewhere. All right, we'll take it. That was like a six. High fives. All right, the girls. Okay. Oh, hit your wheel! All right, so I think we've ridden these wheels enough with the ABEC 9 bearings, but let's go grab these other wheels, throw them on, and see what they feel like. All right, so we've got the expensive bearings right here. I'm gonna be throwing these on my scoot right now, but I need another, do you have an Allen wrench? Yeah. Thanks. I've ridden um, a lot of different bearings in my like scootering career. I haven't ever found a uh, like speed to necessarily be like an issue. It's always the fact that they break so fast. And the reason that they break so fast for a lot of you guys that are wondering is because it's metal surrounded by metal, not like a skateboard wheel. Like it's, that's all urethane. There's no metal in a skateboard wheel. Um, maybe with, with some exceptions, maybe like with some longboard stuff, but normally they're, they're all urethane. So there's a lot of like padding in there essentially. There's none of that in a scooter wheel. There's no urethane on this thing other than the actual urethane that you're riding on. This is all aluminum. Doesn't flex as much as like a normal urethane would, which is why you break bearings so often, which is why I always tell people, it doesn't really make a difference. Like you're not gonna get more life out of a more expensive bearing. It's not really how it works. All right, so first, should we put the Galaxy one on the front or the Galaxy? Back. Galaxy back? Yeah. Okay. They do spin for forever though. They spin for days. So in the last video we did this like, uh, we did this spray on grip tape. I tested that stuff out, which if you guys haven't seen it, you can click that car right up there in the corner of the screen. It'll take you straight there. And there's still like remnants of that like glass dust everywhere. Cause that's what it was. It was like kind of like a very fine glass. And I sat on some earlier and it scratched me. All right, wheel number one is on. They do sound like they rub, which is kind of like a cool sound. It's not like fully silent. I do like that, but they're, they do spin for longer. Wheel number two, commencing installation. Yo, those gloves be looking freaking loud on there, boys. They match the oil slick. You guys got oil slick stuff and you want some glovins that'll match. There you go. www.ramywarner.com. There's actually three W's www.raywarner.com <laughs> It's actually https colon slash okay. slash You never say that Just go to https colon slash slash raymondwarner.com <laughs> slash front page slash collections slash hats if you want to get your hat I'm surprised you actually knew all of that Dude, you know how many times I've 
type that in. My rear axle is bent. Louder. First impressions of, of course they're smooth, but let's go to GoPro and see how they actually feel. All right, so we're gonna let Tito actually start this one off um, because I already know what the other ones felt like. I know what the ABEC 9s feel like, but I want you to go take one run. So from that bank over the hip, eight, and then come back here and tell me if it's like really, really fast or just like kind of normal-ish fast. My wheels suck now. <laughs> like, does it just feel like a normal set of fresh bearings and wheels? Oh, it feels it, really nice. It feels faster than that? It might be because they're 120s too. I don't ride 120s. Oh, you don't ride 120s. All right. I don't know. Like, I feel like they're not actually faster, but I feel like they could, like the speed could maybe continue for longer. Like, for example, if I were to go down a hill or something, like they would continue for longer, maybe. We're gonna let Scott try it out. You better give me a good line, even though that scooter is twice the size of yours. Air out, I want big air, a big air. Oh my gosh, bro. It feels so nice. It feels nice? I don't know, like does it feel faster? Ah, I'm sorry. All right, let, let me take like an actual go at the eight really quick, see what it feels like. All right, so let's pick up some speed for the eight on this one. I don't know, like. No, you're mobbing, dude. <laughs> I mean, maybe they do feel a little tiny bit faster. I'm not gonna lie. Scott's gonna tail up the box right now, and if he tags, he has to do 20 push ups. Here he comes, here he comes. <laughs> I would have rather tagged. You're gonna do it again? I'm gonna go right behind you. You're good. Don't worry about me. You're good. You're good. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Good job, bud. Hi, Costa. Hey, Costa, what's good? Let's see if we can get Barry and you turn down out of the eight. I mean, they're they're feeling fast. I gotta be honest with you guys. Although they don't feel like they're like sixty dollars extra fast. If I had an extra sixty bucks, I would just get like the, the next step up wheel because that's where the the big difference really comes in. Is not it's not the bearings that really make a huge difference because those bearings are gonna break. Like I said, like I said, these are like some of the best bearings you can get. They're ceramics. They were seventy bucks for ten of them or eight of them. Sorry, eight of them. I believe the ND ones are ten bucks for eight of them. So it's a lot cheaper. And like I said, these are gonna break because these are gonna get slow too. You gotta think about that if you get water or any kind of condensation in here it's a rat you gotta take them out you gotta clean them and, and they never come back to the same food for thought you can spend 60 extra dollars on like a nicer set of bars grips and wheels and that's 60 bucks do you guys think scott's got this double whip go down and comment really really fast because you don't have much time you got about three seconds two one. Oh wait hold on that was well you whoever said no you got it right well done Try again. Scott cruising in for a second try, getting a little air on the eight, coming back on the hip for the double. One, two. Ooh, he was close. Let's play around on the eight a little bit more. Yes. Oh God. Oh, I boofed it. Here comes Scott with that double up again. I'm gonna try to do a whip over grab hey, to invert to or a table. Yeah. Woo, there it is. All right, I'm gonna get your back. Oh, blah! 270 air, who likes it? Having a lot of fun on the eight right now. Went for the down quad, didn't work. All right, well, like I said, the bearings work really, really well. Not 60 extra dollars well, but let's cruise back over to the house and give you guys a message for the day. I, I make these messages um, and I kind of direct them towards people that are struggling uh, because when I was younger, I went through some really, really tough times and it was extremely hard for me to get through them. And I felt as though if, if somebody were talking to me in person, that, that would have been obviously ideal. But if I just would have heard things on a daily basis or, or even a weekly basis at that time, it would have made that part of my life a lot easier. And it's, it's very easy to 
pass over into a dark area. It's 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 almost showing um, some kind of a weakness. Struggling is almost a requirement, I think, uh, to get through life, and it's absolutely a requirement to get to where you want to be. Because to get up and run, or even to walk, you've, you've gotta know what it's like to fall. But think long and think hard before you make that weak decision to go into a dark place because you're struggling. Because once you've gone there, you might not be strong enough to get back. But one thing that helped me from going into those really, really dark places is not thinking so much about th the future. Think about now. That It's very difficult to think what's gonna happen in a month, what's gonna happen in two months, what's gonna happen in a year, where are you gonna be? It's, it's difficult because you're thinking that's gonna be forever and, and you're struggling to get through today. Just focus on today. Focus on the next 15 minutes. Focus on what is happening right now in order to get through whatever it is you're going through. But just remember, don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your aspirations. And don't give up on achieving what you see as a brighter day. That's today's message. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And until next time, I'm out. Later.